Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. So tonight for health interventions, we are going to be cooking again. Tonight we're gonna to make cauliflower crust pizza. So I know everybody loves pizza. Um, but with the health interventions, I try to help steer you away from extra meats, trans fats, you know, watching the cheeses. So we wanna get more of a plant-based, we wanna get a lot more vegetables into our life and um, fiber. So what I've done is I've tried making cauliflower crust before and it's not that easy. So the one that I found that I like is Green Giant. Um, so this one, it comes into a square and I've already been this one for 18 minutes at 425 degrees. And I brought it out, I'm gonna put my toppings on it and then I'll put it back into the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes until the stuff on top is the way that I like it and it'll be ready to serve. So just like any kind of pizza, you can do almost any kind of toppings that you want. Remember, we're trying to stay away from the trans fats and the extra things that you don't need. So pepperoni is not one of those options, guys. Um, this is more going towards a veggie based kind of pizza. So like I said, got the crust. I like using, going ahead using tomato paste. This is organic tomato paste. And most of the things in pizza is the flavor comes from like the sauce and the garlic, you know, the seasonings. When you start putting your cheese on that and some of the other things that are really greasy, it actually hides the good flavors. And you've seen me post many of these on um, pictures that I've cooked on our Health Interventions Facebook page. Um, but like I said, I just wanna kinda go over one of these in our video so that you can see just how easy it is and all the layers that go into this. So, I like the tomato paste because like I said, it's very rich in flavor and it's really good for holding on your toppings. So, smoothing this all around. And you will never even know that there isn't cheese or pepperoni on this thing. I get all out to the edges. Um, this, if you don't overload the toppings or you don't put toppings on that are like kind of like soggy stuff, you can still pick this up just like a piece of pizza and eat it. Uh, it might be a little bit messy, but you can still kind of pick it up and eat. All right, so next what I want to do, I should probably get a clean spoon, is put the garlic on top of it. So I kind of get the garlic on the tip of my spoon, and I do, I just go ahead and put it in there and move it around a little bit to get it spread out. If you like a lot of garlic, load it up. If you don't like a lot of garlic, really spread it out there. But the garlic is going to give you a lot of flavor. One of the other things that I have done with this is pesto. I've used a sun-dried tomato basil pesto. I use just a regular classic pesto, which is a lot of basil and garlic is kind of what's in that and pine nuts. So it's still got a lot of flavor. Oh, here's our little helper. Somebody wants to help Granny make some pizza. All right, so it's so easy. Even this little fella can help us make it. So we're gonna put some toppings on there now. First, we're gonna shake on a little bit of Italian seasoning. Again, that's what pizza is, got it in there. And so instead of buying a pizza sauce that has a lot of chemicals and preservatives in it to keep it for a long time in that can, um, you just, like I said, get the tomato paste and it's organic tomato paste. So next, we're gonna put on some toppings. We're gonna put on some spinach. You wanna put some on there? You wanna show them how easy it is? Say, look guys, even I can do it. Thank you. Okay, or you can eat it, <laughs> whichever. So look at this. He loves his greens. As y'all have seen, well, we'll not put that one on our pizza, kiddo. You've loved, seen how he loves his asparagus. I know he's really the star of the show, and you guys just put up with me for him. But now, you see, this is what every guy does when they help you cook, right? They eat while you're trying to cook it. All right, so we got that on there. And now, again, the sky's the limit with the toppings. You can do all kinds of things, whatever you like. So I went ahead and cut up some onions here. So I'm gonna sprinkle on some red onions. And I've got all the colors of the rainbow. So one of the, the lectures that I do or the courses that I do in our online weight management class and some of the things that we talk about in our in-person weight management classes is getting your phytonutrients by getting all the colors of the rainbow. That's gonna to help to boost your immune system and that's going to keep you healthy and right now our time of covid a lot of us are realizing that our immune systems are very important and you can save your immune system by doing this kind of stuff eating vegetables imagine that pretty safe cheap and easy so what i'm putting on here is roasted red peppers just right out of the jar this gives a lot of flavor 
Peppers have vitamin C in them. Again, uh, lycopene, which is good for your immune system and for your vision. I like to load all my toppings. Now I'm gonna put some mushrooms. And if there's any of these things you don't like, then don't use them. All right, right damn it. So we just don't use it if we don't like it. So is this not looking beautiful, guys? Absolutely beautiful. Um, can you tell I like mushrooms too? All right, so then what I do after I get my toppings on there, especially with having the, um, the spinach so that they don't get dry, so that they cook and look pretty, I just take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle on top of that. And then I will sprinkle on a little more Italian seasoning. And then like I said, we're gonna put it back in the oven for 425 degrees for an extra 10 minutes and we have pizza. And it's very good, very flavorful. Give it a try. Like I said, you won't even miss some of those other toppings and you will want this. You can put all kinds of different things on it. Try different toppings. Um, I've done sauteed mushrooms before and onions and spinach. So go ahead and did all that and then put it just on top of this. Uh, that's what I did with the pesto base. But um, you know, do what you like. Give it your own spin. Thank you very much.